Hi, today on Living Room Science, we're going to be doing three cool uh, tricks with candles. Yeah. Should we try another one while we're here? Okay, so what just happened there? When you blow out a candle, you get all this kind of smoke coming off. It's not actually smoke. Smoke is what's coming off while the candle is lit. When you blow the candle out, something else is coming out. All of this vapour, let me do it again. All of this vapour is actually wax. It's wax that's vaporised into gas. And that wax is flammable and that's what um, lights the wick from a distance. Okay, next one. You might have seen this one before. So just give it a minute. Whoa, look at that! Okay, so what's going on here basically is it's all about air pressure and temperature. When the candle is lit, um, the air particles start warming up and they get lots of energy and they get forced out of the jar which is why you got those bubbles uh, originally as the air gets pushed out okay when the air gets pushed out you've now got less air particles in the glass but they're moving around a lot more when the candle goes out the temperature in the in the glass suddenly drops and that causes all the air particles to come back together and um, come a bit closer together. Which means there's a lot more room for all of this water which then gets sucked up to replace all the air that was pushed out in the first place. Pretty cool. Uh, the last one is arguably the coolest one. We're uh, actually going to make a mini flamethrower using lemon peel. So let's see if this works. I want to zoom in a little bit. Hey, that was good. And a little bit more. Oh. There we are. So what's going on in that one is if you have a really close look at lemon peel, see all these tiny little sort of circles? Um, they're basically filled with something called uh, limonene. These scientists, they're really quite creative with their names. Limonene is an oil in um, citrus fruit peels and it's uh, flammable, so that's what you're seeing there. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed those three uh, experiments using candles. Um, maybe you could take some pictures of uh, your results and send them to me on the Google Classroom, and I'll see you next time.